What's up, guys? On a no cool call. Uh, lady said they had somebody come out three days ago and put Freon in it, quit cooling, and I came out here and found it low. Well, just about empty. And uh, what you hear in the background, that's my nitrogen letting off, and I found the leak, and I thought I'd share it with y'all. There you go. Right on the factory solder joint. A good old fetters. Show it to you one more time. So, I got my torch ready. Let the nitrogen bleed off and we're going to weld her back up. All right. So we put a nice fat weld on it. And uh, I got it on pressure right now. Nitrogen pressure. It's been holding for about a minute. It looks like it's staying right within range. Let it hold for about 10 minutes. And then after that, we'll switch over into vacuum. And uh, evacuate it, charge it up. And what's sad about this thing is I can't even find a model number tag or data plate or nothing. But we're gonna get to it all right y'all basically what I've done is uh, there's no data plate there's no model number no serial number there's nothing on here I can't find it so I didn't know how much Freon to put in it so I just kind of guessed and started off at eight pounds uh, I'm sorry seven pounds and I've added almost nine my target superheat is 23.3 I'm at 38.2 so the pressures are looking good and it seems to be coming back around. So, uh, you know, this is real world stuff here. You know, there's this is not a classroom. It's bad when you don't have a data plate or anything to tell you, you know, how much, how many ounces it holds or anything. So, that's just do what you can with what you got. Well, I've already unhooked my uh, scale and everything, but it took about 10 pounds, and we reached our target superheat within five anyway so we got this old piece of junk feathers back up and running for the time being anyway so all right guys well that's about all i can do on this one so it's a uh, it's after five o'clock i'm ready to go home and i still got one more to go home so y'all have a good one we'll see you in the next one